What's going on guys? I'm Avionics. Welcome back to my channel. Now I just want to share a little story that happened yesterday afternoon at about, you know, 3 o'clock or maybe 3.30, you know, at my daughter's school because school just ended and now it's time for cheerleading. Um, while watching her, I get a message from my buddy uh, showing a screenshot of someone at a local Target here in Las Vegas about two hours earlier who managed to find every single item of the TMNT Necaholathon. Now, uh, this particular target, target is only two miles from, it's like less than two miles from my house, right? And, you know, reading through the thread, it said that only one of each was there, which makes no damn sense whatsoever. I don't know what Neko's doing, but apparently this guy doesn't even live here in Las Vegas. He'll, he's here for work, traveling for work. And he just so happened to bring along a second empty suitcase because he was feeling lucky. And boy, did he. Because if it weren't for him, being that that's my main target, that would have been me collecting every single one of these. Well, I guess a, a few things were missing. But for the most part, the entire NECA TMNT Holothon, um, everything was there. So I wouldn't be able to be free until about 5 o'clock. So, you know, which is probably about around four hours later after this guy found everything at this one target. So around five o'clock, I head to the second nearest target to me. And, you know, I go beeline straight for the toy aisle because, you know, in the toy aisle, this particular target has a NECA section. So I look, I look around, I see a bunch of Savanti Romero's. Uh, I see, uh, uh, what's it called? A Vernon and uh, Rat King two pack and two other two packs that are you know, over a year old, nothing. So I go back over to the electronics section and look at the collector zone over there and uh, nothing, you know, I saw Wolfman and I think I saw the Leonardo creature also, nothing. So I'm like, oh, either this guy just got lucky or NECA, you know, went ran through every target and everyone picked everything up already, I don't know. But so I start just, being depressed and I start looking around anyways and in hopes maybe oh you know maybe someone hit something somewhere because that has happened before and it happens all across the country people are hiding NECA things because they can't afford it at the moment so they start hiding it so I start looking around behind other things right there at the collector zone nothing so you know I meander back over to the toy aisle where the NECA stuff is because you know like I said this target has two places a lot of a lot of targets have that for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know why they split that all up. So I start looking, you know, the, the, that NECA sign at the top, looking around. I look at the bottom where all the NECA plushies are and lo and behold, I did see a four pack of the Punk Disguise down in there. Someone poorly hit it in plain sight, just sitting on top of the plushies at the very bottom of where the NECA sign is in the toy aisle. Message my buddy saying, hey, look what I found. Look look what someone poorly hid away because they couldn't afford to get it right then and there. So guess what? It's mine now. So in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at this entire awesome NECA TMNT Punk Disguise Turtle 4-Pack set. So if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and ringing that notifications bell as we get into it. So here is the box. I'm not gonna bore you too much of it, but you know, showing off the awesome front window of all four turtles in their punk disguises as cartoon accurate as possible. Top of the box, bottom of the box, showing off the wonderful team who brought this to us. UPC barcode for anyone who is wondering. This side of the box showing Leo and Mikey. And then this side of the box showing Donnie and Raph. And then this awesome uh, product shot on the back side. Go ahead and pause and read if you would like to, but we're gonna go ahead and start opening it up. All right, so this is the cardboard insert inside the four pack. I think we've seen this before in uh, a premonition, a permutation four pack, but um, it's all flimsy, too flimsy to use up to hold up, but if you want to, you can. Anyways, moving on to the meat and potatoes of things. The highly sought after punk disguise set that we've been waiting for for a while now and you know like I said it's popping up early as Holothon uh, is coming in um, I think we still have another week and a half before they're officially putting stuff out or maybe is it this is it this Friday the uh, 
the 29th not sure but um reports all over the internet say next friday is when they should start also one more thing to add acquiring this early is the fact that there is a uh, target circle savings of twenty dollars off of anything spent over seventy five dollars in toys that expires on saturday march 30th and yes it does include this collectible four pack set so yes i was able to save uh, twenty dollars plus my target red card five percent bringing the total out the door after tax 132 dollars and some change rather than what 149.99 plus tax and all that good stuff so i'm glad i got found this early enough to be able to take advantage of that target circle uh saving so yeah so here we have all four figures out on the table and all the accessories so you know the turtles in disguise pack is 125 dollars so this is 150 so you're not getting as much um with this four pack like you are the turtles in disguise set but you know like i said if you're able to take advantage of that target circles savings you're gonna get it for the same price pretty much but you know not as much accessories speaking of accessories let's go ahead and take a look at everything so they do come with two bags two different bags of uh, groceries here so this one right here has a bunch of vegetables and red can of stuff and then um this one it's a little bit different it's got a few bottles and boxes right there so this is it feels pretty solid it's not it doesn't seem to be hollow but yeah they can be carrying these and then they do come with a pizza here so i know other previous ultimate packs and the turtles in the skies they come with pizzas and then this one is a different actual pizza than what we've seen before uh, looks like we got some olives some pepperoni mushrooms and i believe those are toenail clippings which uh, actually are from an episode of the 87 cartoon series. So there's that. And then we do have this new Ghetto Blaster. Now I'm going to put up a screenshot here. And I'm not sure at the moment if this is cartoon accurate to their episode. But there's a screenshot of the Ghetto Blaster. But this is different than the one that came from the Turtles in the Sky set. As this is a dual set. Has more paint applications and buttons and you know even the handle is nicely sculpted so there's that and, and this is smaller than the turtles in disguise uh, ghetto blaster then we have this ray blaster that i'm not really aware of what episode this came from or whatnot but it it's a uh sci it's like a sci-fi blaster with a, a red star primarily gray white and black paint applications and the tip reminds me of a uh like a bottle cap of some sort with a light blue over there Yes, yeah, so there's that one. And then they they come with this little robot as well. I don't remember where this little guy uh, stems from as far as episodes goes. But a cool little accessory that they can be holding in their hands. Uh, does not articulate. So be careful. Don't try to force it. You will break them. Our little cute little robot. And then we have a new skateboard in this set. So here, this one has some tattered and torn grip tape on the tail end and even right here so this is a different sculpt and even even the wheels are a different sculpt so yeah it even shows the how detailed the trucks are pretty rad that's pretty rad all right and then so we have a total of eight heads one extra head per turtle and um we have a total of one two three four five six seven eight pairs of hands not as many hands as the turtles in the sky set came in but that's okay so every turtle on their body comes with a uh, a gripping hand right and a left okay but then we also have oh there goes donnie we have one set of a right and a left of this hand and then we have Raphael's uh side grip hands where he has one the, the main prong going through his second and third finger Okay, and then we have a right and a left pointing index finger pointing hand. And all these look to be articulating side to side. And then we have a pair of thumbs up, right and a left. Each one of their sun shaded uh, heads, these do not come off. So don't try and take them off. 
So they do have sunglasses each. So here's Donnie. And it actually shows the whites of their eyes, which is really cool. Uh, I'm not sure if it shows a pupil. Uh, I'm not seeing... I think I do. I do see a pupil. So that's great attention to detail because, you know, if they left it just green, it would have looked weird if you're taking, like, a photo of these guys at an angle and all you see is, like, green eyeballs behind there. So that's pretty cool that they went ahead and took the extra step to paint that. Here is Raphael's sun-shaded sunglassed head. So both Donnie and Raph have just a big... Um, big grin across their face and Leo here's Leo and then here is Mikey and his iconic big smiling face that we uh we've seen in the very first punk disguise episode and then there you can see the whites of his eyes and then their alternate heads here is Donatello's head and so it's a, a full grimace and then you have, looks like candy corn mohawk. All right. And then you have Raphael, left side grimace. And then he has a pink mohawk. That's pretty cool. And then Leonardo, half uh, open mouth and great sculpt of the mouth too, because you see the bottom of the teeth and then inside seeing the tongue. So there is a gap. So it's not just like a painted face on a, it's actually sculpted. So that's really nice. And then so he has his red mohawk. And then Michelangelo and his I have no idea what's on top of his head. It's like a looks like a plant. It doesn't even look like hair. And he just has that stoner look to his face. This is a perfect head if you're trying to have Mikey hold like a like a blunt or something or a bong of some sort as he looks his eyes look all glazed over and he's got this like dumbfounded mouth expression. <laughs> Alright, so taking a closer look at each turtle's uh, punk disguise. Here we have Donatello in this uh, light brown bomber style jacket with a, a poofy cream colored collar. And we got two, three uh, nicely painted cartoon lines right there. And uh, these are well sculpted jackets. They do not come off. Everything looks good to go. And, you know, it looks like we are dealing with some new joints being that they are jackets. So they are going to articulate a little bit differently. And then, you know, once again, a shot of the purple shades to match Donatello's color. And then his knee pads and then the sneakers that matches colors as well. Purple high tops, purple and white, got painted laces, and then peg holes at the bottom. Moving on to Raf. Stay still, Donnie. All right. Another close shot of his sunglasses. And then he's got a fully zipped up darker brown leather jacket with uh, these rivets or studs all along all along the shoulders. Looks like you have a, a cargo pocket here. Oh, yeah, there were, there are some front pockets on Donnie's jacket. Right there, they don't open up, but uh, yeah, he's got uh, this side, nothing there, and then on the back, some more uh, added just a little bit tune lines and the rivets nicely painted all around the uh, the back, and then his the cuffs of the sleeves are nicely painted and detailed down to his red um, colored uh, knee, knee armor, or, I'm sorry, knee pads or whatever. And then uh, they remind me of Sonic the Hedgehog shoes. Red high top, red and white high tops. Kind of look like J's. And then peg holes at the bottom. And then Leo. Once again, the blue shades. Nice all black grease type leather jacket with metal studs ar around the, the cuffs right there. Nicely painted gray zipper with all the black lines. Po molded pockets, sculpted pockets with the painted applications of snaps and zippers and whatever, uh, some more here, some studs, whatever this, I don't know why this one's so big compared to that one, but yeah, nicely painted all the way around and then all of them, they have a little bit of the shell poking out and then down to his blue knee pads and then uh, blue high tops, same sculpt, just blue and white. Peg holes at the bottom. Moving on to Mikey. 
orange sunshades and check out this collar it's got three spikes on it and a uh, primarily dark gray leather jacket look how well look how awesome this the front of the uh the jacket is sculpted that's pretty cool and then he's the only one that are actually donnie has his jacket semi open and then but uh mikey's is the way it's designed it shows off his michelangelo belt and some of the brown so this is a real cool sculpt of michelangelo's jacket but yeah he does have his orange knee pads and then orange and white high tops and then so i do want to point out that one one other big thing about this set is they don't come with any weapons so yeah the worth of these guys 150 dollars probably justifies the whole inflation thing going on but you know it's also NECA. NECA NECA does what NECA does and so and that's how they do their pricing and whatnot all right now we can compare three of the exact same turtle style guide Mikey turtles in disguise Mikey and then punk disguise Mikey now uh one big takeaway between turtles in disguise and this punk set is uh, they all have a matte finish, so let's bring this guy right here. And as you can see, Turtles in Disguise has more of that glossy look, which I'm not a big fan of. So I'm really looking for. I'm really glad these have that matte finish, and I'm looking forward to the uh, individual Ultimate Turtles, uh, all four of them, because according to other pictures and videos, they all have the the matte finish as well. One other notable feature is. These alternate heads do disassemble like the Turtles in Disguise heads so you can mix and match but use, in your, use at your own discretion though because like I said the Turtles in Disguise heads are of a glossy finish and these heads and mouths are of a matte finish but you can use these alt heads out of this Punk Disguise pack with the individual Ultimate Turtle uh, figures that are coming out with this holothon as well but the sunglass heads do not disassemble. All right, so I went ahead and busted out the worst action, or I mean, the best action punk uh, turtles that best action put out um, last year. They were the first ones to actually come out with uh, this punk disguise set, and they were each individually packaged, not a four pack set. Plus, there were a total of three variants. So here's the one complete variant where they're all, they all have uh, the matching kind of one color jacket. And so they're all standing next to their, to their counterpart of NECA. All right, so we're gonna quickly run through articulation as they are a little bit different than the regular NECA turtles that we're used to. Starting off with the head. They're, so they're all pretty much gonna do the same, but starting off with the head, looking far as down as that, all the way up because of his collar. Shoulders go all the way up like so and it's going to be able to rotate all the way around and then bicep cut right there and then this new articulation because of their jackets pins double articulating at the elbows showing off the range like so at the hips this it can swivel like this side to side splits kicking forward all the way like that as far back as that and then it will have a little bit of swivel at the uh, the hip ball joint and then we have double articulation at the knee but it goes as far back as like so and then now they have shoes so the way these articulate it's going to be able to swivel and rock like that and i don't see any rotation at the ankle so just um got very little wiggle room to go back and forth right there and then like i said the swivel so if you are a NECA tmnt cartoon figure completionist yes this punk four pack set is one that you must get and it will be available through the target holothon within the next couple of weeks so anyone with fomo don't worry about not getting it early uh as <laughs> As you can tell, I have a little bit of FOMO, but I was able to find one and, you know, find this hidden one. It was like finding an Easter egg in a field. 
But yeah, so $150 plus tax at Target. And you could also order it from the Holothon uh, costumes.com website, I believe. I'll have that relevant link down in the video description as well as it will be popping up on that website soon. But yeah, I think this four pack uh, punk set is a definite, awesome, unique looking set. You know, if you're a hardcore Ninja Turtle fan like I am and have been wanting NECA to make this uh, punk set, because I think I mentioned something in, in one of the Facebook groups a couple years ago about when is NECA going to make this punk four set? Well, they did 2024, a few years later. And, you know, I'm not the only one that's been asking, you know, wondering and asking if NECA is going to be making this punk set. Even though Best Action was the first ones who came out with it first, but we all know how that turned out. I mean, those turned out all right, but, you know, the playability isn't as good as these NECA figures are as they don't crumble and fall apart or fall over so easily, easily like those Best Action ones do. Yeah, but if you guys enjoyed watching this content, I'd appreciate it if you hit that like button. I know everyone has a bunch of comments and thoughts about these, so please leave all that down below. And once again, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notifications bell to be notified of other reviews like this. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.